So you might be in a position where for some reason Ryujix just keeps crashing every single game that you're going through and actually installing within it. So maybe it's not even loading up these games, maybe it's just crashing them, whatever the case is. Now there's been some cases where, you know, there's some ways to fix it. The very first thing I would recommend doing though is making sure that the specific games that you went ahead and brought in, the NSP file or whatever, you know, file that you actually installed within it are fully compatible and they are fully downloaded and working. There's a lot of times where some people may have partial downloads of these games and that may end up causing some issues. So just make sure you downloaded those games and that will probably end up fixing the problem if you fully downloaded them. Make sure that the full proper size and you want to make sure you're downloading them or you know getting them from your cartridge you know properly. That's the very first thing I'd recommend doing. Now on top of that, there may be some updates available for these games in order for them to not crash. So in my specific case, you know, in Super Mario Odyssey, there's currently a problem going on there with the Ruined Kingdom, you know, for that specific, you know, place in the game. So there's no way to, you know, kind of go past that. But in other games, there may be. So if you have, you know, the ability of looking online, just look up like, you know, the name of the game and then Ryujinx. And a lot of the times there may be some workarounds or some ways of getting the game working. So just keep that in mind too. On Mac, it's a new little, you know, emulator. So it's going to take some time for it to get better. Another thing though to keep in mind is that even if there's a game crashing, if it's crashing as soon as you boot it up, that game may not be you know, compatible. But if it's crashing in game, there may be some mods available. So within Super Mario Odyssey, there was actually a mod available where you can actually go ahead and kind of fix the situation inside of Ruined Kingdom. And I was able to kind of go past that. So keep that in mind if you know you find a mod available, that might be something you want to kind of keep in mind too. Now, if none of those things end up working, you may actually have to go ahead and see if there's an update available for Reunion Jinx. So what you want to do here, it's very basic. You just want to go and click on download up here inside of the reunionjinx.org website. And you want to go and see if there is an update available for your Mac version. So you can see right here, we are on various different versions on all these specific you know, games. But you can see within for Mac OS, for example, there does seem to be an update for 1.1.0. So I don't know if that's the exact same model version I'm on, it's probably the same one. So you can see 1.1.0 and it's still the same thing here. So there will probably be an update at some point, but you know, keep your versions updated whether you're on Mac or Linux or Windows, and that could probably end up fixing the problem too. You can make sure you know you can restart your PC as well, that's another thing you can do, but that's pretty much the main ways to go and fix this. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.